Hello everyone, and welcome to another video, and in today's video, we are going to talk 10 of the best places to visit in France. The yearning to go. Knowing that France offers very nice weekend opportunities, when the sun shines, will be helpful if it becomes necessary for many people to wait until the upcoming holidays. A number of locations are reachable in just a few hours for a relaxing trip to discover the French beauties, so you don't have to travel to the edge of the planet to take in the awakening of nature as it should be. After a rather harsh winter, now is the time to explore the most stunning gardens in the nation, stroll along deserted beaches, or travel to the countryside to refresh yourself. Here are our top 10 French travel destinations to visit in spring, ranging from Normandy to the Camargue via the Loire. Number 10. Moulin Rouge The renowned French Cancan is said to have originated at the Moulin Rouge, a cabaret. It was constructed in 1889 by Joseph Aller and Charles Zidler in the center of Pigot, at the base of the Montmartre Hill. The Cancan, which was first used as a courtship dance, paved the way for the development of the cabaret, which is now common in many nations worldwide. The Moulin Rouge is now a popular tourist destination that entertains travelers from all over the world. Its design and name have been lifted and imitated from other nightclubs all over the world, including Las Vegas. The cabaret's reputation has also benefited from numerous movies, including 2001's Baz Luhrmann film Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor. Number 9. Disneyland France Making enthusiasts can travel 32 km to Disneyland Paris, which has a connection to the suburban REA. There are two theme parks in Disneyland Paris, Walt Disney Studios and Disneyland, which is the castle from Sleeping Beauty. Big Thunder Mountain, It's a Small World, and Space Mountain are the top attractions. Number 8. The Latin Quarter Luxembourg Park On the left side of the Seine, close to the Sorbonne, is where you'll find Paris Latin Quarter. The Latin Quarter is home to various higher education institutions, including the École Normale Supérieure, the École des Mines de Paris, and the École Polytechnique. It is known for its vibrant atmosphere, student life, and bistros. Latin which was previously widely used at and around the university since it was the dominant language of study across the world in the Middle Ages, gave the region its name. The Luxembourg Park, a private garden accessible to the general public, was established in 1612 at Marie de Medicis' request to go at the Luxembourg Palace. It is lovingly known as the Luco among Parisians. The Palais du Luxembourg, where the Senate meets, is surrounded by a park. You may stroll about the area, which André Lenata redesigned, there's also an orchard, a number of apple kinds, an apiary, and a greenhouse with an orchid collection. There are 106 sculptures, a figure of liberty in bronze, and three lovely fountains. Number 7. Montmartre The 130-meter tall hill in the north of Paris has the name of the district it surrounds. The Basilica of the Sacred Heart, with its white dome at the top, is its most famous feature. It commemorates the French casualties of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870 and was finished in 1919. Visit the Square of Turder, which is a few streets from the Basilica. If you're in the region, many painters have set up their easels to paint visitors or display their work. The place du Turder serves as a reminder of the early 20th century period when Montmartre was the center of contemporary art. Home to numerous painters like Emilio Modigliani, Claude Monet, Pablo Picasso, and Vincent van Gogh, a short distance from the square of Turter lies the Espace Salvador Dell, a museum devoted mostly to the sculpture and drawings of the Spanish painter. In Montmartre, you may find the renowned Cabaret Moulin Rouge. Number 6. Champs Elysees Slash Arc of Triumph Napoleon asked Jean Chalgrin to create a triumphal arch honoring the valor of the imperial forces after falling under the spell of classical Roman architecture. It is the biggest monument of its sort in the world and was built in the 19th century. Its pillars are adorned with striking sculptures. Additionally, the top of the arc is inscribed with the names of 558 generals and notable victories. The French unknown soldier's tomb may be found under the Arc de Triomphe. A lovely view of Paris may be seen from the rooftop patio located over the entrance. The Arc de Triomphe, which is known as the most magnificent avenue in the world, is situated on the place to Allied Oil and is 50 meters high, 45 meters wide, and 22 meters deep. It is located 1.9 kilometers from the Arc de Triomphe to the place de la Concorde. There are several upscale shops, Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Guerlain, Montblanc, etc. Entertainment venues, Lido, movie theaters, and renowned cafes and eateries, Falques. 
Number 5. French Riviera The French Riviera, Côte d'Azur, which is situated on the French side of the Mediterranean Sea, is a popular destination for wealthy individuals, celebrities, and large numbers of foreign visitors. The Riviera is recognized for the splendor of St. Tropez, Monaco, and the Cannes Film Festival, but there are many more lesser-known places to visit, like the Perfumeries of Grasse, the Perch Villages of Es, and St. Paul de Vence. Despite being one of the more northern Mediterranean shores, the area has a great moderate to warm temperature all year round. Number 4. Strasbourg Strasbourg, in Germany, serves as the regional capital of Alsace. The European Parliament and several other significant European organizations, like the Council of Europe and the European Court of Human Rights, have their headquarters in this city. Strasbourg is one of the top destinations to visit in France because of its historic district, Grand Isle, numerous museums, boutiques, cafes, and eye-catching sites like the magnificent Gothic Church, which boasts elaborate carvings and a 300-year-old operating astrological clock, can be found here within a fusion of French and German architecture. Number 3. Lyon Locals advise visiting Lyon if you want to experience all of Paris' elegance but are frightened of Paris' notorious crowds. The third largest city in France, Lyon is a university town with many of reasonably priced pubs and cafes. It is also home to amazing historical attractions like the Fontaine Bartholdi, the stunning Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvière, and the ancient Roman amphitheater. Bartholdi also sculpted of the Statue of Liberty. And if that weren't enough, Lyon is regarded as France's culinary capital. Excellent restaurants there sparkle with Michelin stars, which are highly sought after, which reward exceptional cuisine. However, considering the city's student population, many claim that great meals are available at any price range. Lyon's restaurants are undoubtedly a good location to seek local guidance. Our travel agents advise us to keep an eye out for quenelles, which are essentially pike-based fish dumplings, and Beaujolais wine. Number 2. Versailles Louis' Roman XIV developed the Palace of Versailles into a colossal architectural celebration of the authority of the king. Brought to life via the largest palace in the world, the Palace of Versailles was originally designed to be the hunting lodge and retreat for the French royal family. The palace and its surroundings are a beautiful display of the luxury of an era when the Sun King was at the center of a global French power projection. Putting history aside, the Palace of Versailles and its grounds are breathtaking in their pure splendor. The enormous, Lush gardens, which are broken up by gravity-defying fountains and cooling waterways, provide as the ideal framing for the main palace's enormous exterior. Once inside, the size of the chambers and the abundance of Greek deity paintings and pictures, among other treasures, make a trip to Versailles an unforgettable experience. In the 17th century, the Sun King, King Louis Roman XIV, constructed this magnificent Baroque palace. King and Queen residences were at Versailles Palace until the French Revolution at the end of the 18th century. Currently, guests can explore the Chateau's magnificent grounds, the gardens are beautiful, and visit its breathtaking rooms, like the famous Hall of Mirrors. And number 1. Paris, the Louvre, Notre Dame, the Arc de Triomphe, and Sacre Coeur are just a few of the famous landmarks in Paris, along with a wide variety of other smaller specialized museums and galleries. More than 6 million people visit the Eiffel Tower each year, and a trip there is magical whether you go for a leisurely lunch in one of the restaurants or an evening ascent while sipping champagne. But Flannery, or simply wandering the city aimlessly, is a just as important component of Paris allure. With plenty of surprises along the way, you will find lesser known sites, including tranquil parks, secret squares, vibrant street art, and adorable bars and brasseries. So that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel.